Hi there, this is Jens Christian from Zurich, Switzerland. And I'm going to talk about how you can create submixes and uh, parallel tracks with re effects in the Reaper DAW. So here we have a, uh, a project with a couple of, of loops taken from the uh, collaboration, sound collaboration project at Coursera. There is nothing much fancy going on. This is not about musicality, but about effects. But the first thing I want to do is to create a um, a track that has a reverb, a general purpose reverb on all of these tracks. I'll uh, show you how we learned it in Coursera and also that there is a, a faster way in Reaper to do that. So I insert a track uh, and I will now create, uh, first I'm going to name that, reverb. And uh, now I'm going to create sends from the, my different uh, tracks here down to that track. So click on the, uh, the routing button here, add a new send, send it to the reverb channel and I can uh, specify the, uh, the, the volume, the panning, is it a pre or post fader thing, etc. So um, I have to do that for all of these tracks. Luckily I can just, uh, a simpler way to do that is just to, let's get rid of those, click and drag those down here. And when I open that, I can see that I have indeed receives from all of my tracks. Now I can add an effect on this track. So I'm going to do, uh, put on the reverb track, set a big honking um, room size. <laughs> You can hear that uh, indeed we have reverb on all of these tracks. Now, Reaper has a, a simpler way to do exactly the same thing, uh, and that's something called folders. So I'm inserting a new track again, <coughs> and then dragging this track all the way up, and telling um, Reaper that this is a folder track. And now you can see that uh, the folders, the folder incorporates all these tracks down here, and I can put the same effect on uh, let's make it more subtle on just the folder track and uh, we have reverb on all of these tracks now reaper allows us to do that recursively so i can add folders inside of folders inside of folders and this is very cool because i can for example um, i have two rhythm tracks here with grooves on i can create a new track <coughs> drag that to the correct position up here, tell Reaper that this is also a folder track, and tell here, click here, and say this is the last track in a folder. Now I have a specific track for just my two drum grooves, and I can mix them, mix them separately, take them down, and of course I can also add effects specifically to. Uh, that folder so I can add a compressor for example onto just the, the, the drum tracks if you want <coughs> so Reaper is uh, is is really good about um, grouping these things I think personally the uh, the folder concept here is a lot clearer for uh, for collecting multiple tracks that need to be handled the same way it uh, it's easier to work with them you can see visually here the, which tracks belong um, to a group of folders it makes more sense than, than having separate uh, tracks of course uh, nothing stops you from creating a new track dragging it all the way down and then handling it as uh, as we saw before and um, just sending some specific some specific tracks down to that uh, track. For example, for a submix um, that you want to route somewhere. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little presentation here. Um, I know I did, and I'm looking forward to seeing your stuff up on the uh, Coursera forums. Cheers, take care.